Hello everybody, hope you're having a good day. Today I want to showcase the replay functionality and capture functionality of the open source SDR lab HackRF1. This is a SDR brought to you by open source SDR. Link will be in the description. Um, they have a good store on AliExpress where they um, send the products at a good price. So we're going to be using a Beofeng BF88S ham radio. This is kind of like a walkie talkie, but it runs on some frequencies that we know. So we're going to be trying to talk through here, capture it on the HackerF1 Portapack H2 Plus, and then replay that again. So first of all, let's turn on the radio. We're on channel one right now, as you heard. So I've tuned in the Hack RF1 uh, portback to the frequency, which is 462.125. That is the frequency that the radio here is transmitting on. So first things first, we have to talk through this microphone just to test out if it works or not. So I'm going to move away a bit so it doesn't damage the Hack RF. So let's say, hello, hello, hello. Right. You can see that's come through on the waterfall there. So what we're going to do, we're going to capture that and then try and see if we can play it back and hear it. So let's record. Hello, testing one. And then we can stop the recording. Now, what we want to do now is travel over to the uh, transmit section or no, the replay section. Get our file, which is the latest one. Uh, it will be on the top of the list. And I'm going to click on that. And now we'll adjust the gain. Uh, I'm going to turn up the gain just to 40, maybe. Mm, 38. That sounds about good. And then we can play the signal. I'm going to turn up the volume a bit so you'll be able to see. Here we go. And let's play. Well, that hasn't worked because I believe I have selected the wrong capture. This is why you guys have to be really careful with this because um, sometimes you can get the wrong capture file. Hello, testing one. So, as you saw, it managed to transmit at the correct frequency after some tampering with the file because I chose the wrong one. Stupid of me. But, um, yeah, you've always got to make sure... Um, to delete the previous captures that you don't need. Otherwise, you can get confused between all of them. That's just something to keep in mind. So let's play it again. Hello, testing one. So you see, it works absolutely great. Um, so that's one of the functions of the HackRF portback.